Hey, 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 thanks for stopping by my channel today. I want to welcome you here. If this is your very first time, welcome back if you are returning. Today I have an easy eyebrow sculpting tutorial for you. This is a step-by-step -step tutorial on how I create and sculpt out my eyebrows. Now, in order to get your brows perfected, uh, you're going to have to know what you need for your brows because everybody's eyebrows are not the same so if you're interested in seeing how i create my brows then i suggest you keep on watching all right let's jump into it let's get into it let's get into it all right what i'm doing here is taking a spoolie brush and brushing all the hairs in an upward position and this right here is just making sure everything is you know getting nice and smoothed out none you know none of your hairs are all you know out of whack and all over the place and I'm taking a cold eyeliner pencil by Wet n Wild in the color Simmer Brown and I am drawing a line underneath and on top and you notice I'm not drawing one straight line I am doing the line in sections because you will be able to control it better and then you making the tail here and I uh, am just doing little strokes right here to give it a hair-like um, illusion. And what I needed really was the tail because I have plenty of hair in the front of my brow. I wanted to extend the tail just a bit. And I'm doing the same thing over on this side. Now, I am doing these brows today for you all and because I'm doing gonna do a full face, but not on camera. I'm just showing you the brows in this video and um, if you were just wanting your brows to be done, use a concealer that is the color of your complexion. If you're just going for brows, no um, foundation or anything. So that way, you know, you won't have this kind of made up, made up look, so to speak. And so, nevertheless, what I'm going to do here is just do the same thing as I did on the other side. Use hair-like strokes. That's very, very important to use hair-like strokes instead of just drawing everything. So, we're going to clean it up. I'm going to sculpt them out with this LA Girl Pro Conceal in the color Toffee. And I'm shaking it up a little bit because this is a brand new one. And you need to shake it up any of your liquids anyway to get everything mixed back together again. I'm going to take a angle, an angled eyeliner brush and get some of that product on both sides and I am going to clean up underneath the brow. You want to get as close to the line as possible and uh, raise your brow so you can get underneath there like you need to. If you are doing this on a client, you would take your thumb and kind of raise that brow up. Now I'm going to take this fluffy, fluffy blending brush. This is just a blending brush I picked up from the Dollar Tree years ago. And I am just blending out the excess of the concealer. And um, so it's not just kind of stamped there. We're blending it out. And this is why I was saying if you are going to be using... Um, doing just your brows for the day use a color that is 
um, your skin complexion color so you don't have all this highlighted area underneath your eye okay and we're just making sure that it's nicely blended into the skin the way I want and then we're going to go over and clean up that other um, brow as well I do not clean up on the top because it just looks too sharp and too much for me so I just don't like that look and sometimes if you using a lighter color of concealer to clean up listen you're gonna have that halo over your eye and I don't like that so I this is just my technique and this is what I do on my clients I don't do that on my clients as well I don't put that uh, concealer on the top and notice as I am cleaning up with these um, concealer I am also doing that in strokes because so you're not drawing a complete line to clean up I am giving strokes and I want to make sure that that tail is nice and sharp and crisp okay and that's basically a good sculpted eyebrow and we're gonna get that blended out and that will be it for these brows and you all will have to tell me what you think in the comments, okay? Keep on watching. Okay, now I'm going to take that spoolie brush and just soften up all of that product um, in the front. Even though I didn't do any product in the front, but I'm just kind of blending out that front and all the way back toward the tail with that spoolie brush to make all the hairs look um, nice and groomed, so to speak. And yeah, I am absolutely loving the brows. The brows make the face sharp. If your brows not right, listen. For me, I throw the whole face in the trash, okay? I'm going to need my brows to be right. <laughs> okay, so make sure that you keep practicing until you have gotten your brows the way you want your brows. Now, I can teach you how to do your own brows, but I'm going to need a picture of your brows so that I can tell you where to begin drawing your lines on the top and where to stop on the bottom and all that good stuff. But nevertheless, I am just blending all of this out. And yes, y'all, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's me all made up, baby. <laughs> Listen, I want to thank you all for stopping by the channel today. Make sure if this is your type of content, consider joining the family, baby. Because makeup is how this channel originated, all right? Give me a big old thumbs up if you like it. And leave me a comment and tell me what it is that you do like. All right? Subscribe. Hit the bell as well. I'm going to catch you all in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.